when performing an experiment or activity in the laboratory, to investigate or verify a certain concept or principle, you use laboratory apparatus and equipment. In this video, still as part of your preparation for the ANE test or for whatever test you will take, we will review about the common laboratory apparatus and their uses. Some of the most common kinds of laboratory apparatus and equipment can magnify, measure, ignite, weigh, or hold various substances for a variety of purposes. Prepare paper and pen for your answers. You can check your answers at the last part of the video. The first laboratory apparatus is a thin-walled glass container widely used in the laboratory as reaction container. This apparatus is used for holding liquid and solid samples or catch liquids from different titrations or filtrates from filtering operations. It is used for heating, stirring, and mixing chemicals. It has a spout on its rim to easy pouring. What do you call this laboratory apparatus? Number 2 This apparatus is a glass tube with one end closed and the other end open. It is made of a heat and chemical resistant glass or special type of plastic. This tool is used for mixing, dissolving, and holding liquids, solids, and solutions for heating and observing simple chemical reactions. What laboratory apparatus piece is described and shown in the picture? Next, number 3. This is a measuring tool for the volume of any liquid. This tool is of many sizes and graduations. The 50 ml has 1.0 ml graduation. The 35 ml has 0.5 ml graduation. The 10 ml has 0.1 ml graduation. It has also a leap for easy pouring of liquids. What do you call this laboratory apparatus? Four. This apparatus is used to place liquid samples or to catch filtrates. What piece of laboratory apparatus is this? Five. It is a round flat bottom flask with a long neck, also known as boiling flask. It can be used as a container to hold solutions of chemicals. This flask is designed for uniform heating and ease of swirling. It can be cupped by a glass or rubber stopper. But never heat the flask when covered or cupped with stopper. It can build up pressure and can result in an explosion. What do you call this laboratory apparatus? Six. This apparatus is a round flask with flat bottom and round necks which is used to measure the exact volume of liquids. There is a short line on the neck that hints how far to fill the flask. Special cups are available that will not let anything in or out through the flask. This flask is available in different sizes, 100 cubic centimeter, 250 cubic centimeter, 500 cubic centimeter, and 1,000 cubic centimeter. The temperature affects the volume, thus always avoid using liquids that will vary in temperature. What do you call this laboratory apparatus? Number 7. 
This laboratory apparatus is a graduated glass tube with a small aperture and stopcock for delivering measured quantities of liquid. With the use of this apparatus, you can measure or determine the volume of liquids up to nearly to 0.01 milliliter. Its stopcock can be turned to control the release amount of liquid. The markings along the length of this tool indicates the volume of any liquid present in them. By slightly adjusting the stopcock, the amount of releasing liquid can be slowed down to a single drop every few seconds. What piece of laboratory apparatus is this? Number 8. This laboratory apparatus is made up of solid glass, having rounded edges, is slightly thick and longer than a soda water straw. It is often 10 to 45 cm long with almost a half centimeter in diameter. This is used for mixing and stirring of different chemicals. What do you call this laboratory apparatus? Number 9 It is a circular convex or concave rounded piece of glass often used to hold a small amount of solid or liquid to evaporate the liquid while being weighed and many other purposes. It can be used as a beaker cover to prevent dust from entering in the beaker. What piece of laboratory apparatus is this? Number 10. This apparatus is made up of glass or plastic and has either a long or short stem, depending on the purpose it is needed for. There are a lot of sizes that can be chosen depending upon the amount of liquid that needs to go through them easily and quickly. What do you call this laboratory apparatus? Number 11. This apparatus is used for measuring the exact volume of liquids and transferring liquids into the other containers. Generally, available sizes are 10 cubic centimeter, 20 cubic centimeter, 25 cubic centimeter. What piece of laboratory apparatus is this? Number 12. This is made of thin walled porcelain. This laboratory appar apparatus or ceramic ware is used for heating small amounts of materials at very high temperature. The cover is designed to fit the container to prevent loss of materials. What do you call this laboratory apparatus? Number 13. This apparatus is a heavy porcelain dish with a grinder. It is used for pulverizing solids. What piece of laboratory apparatus is this?
description of this video below, I attach a quiz on laboratory apparatus and equipment. The Google Forms will require you a Gmail account to access the quiz. Good luck! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe in this channel.